fire. Okay, so we got some fire. We're gonna put the water on the boil. And we're gonna see what we can make. I'm curious about a couple of these items, like the, the little forks. That might be better. That might be bigger forks. Let's see. This is what I call the cooking on the road channel. Oh yeah, here we are. See? Bigger forks are better than the little forks. I'm gonna lock the door. Why? Uh, just for shits and giggles. Okay, now. Let's taste, let's taste the tomato sauce. Let's see what it means. It's just pure tomato sauce. Yeah. Let's try the pickles. There's it. Not bad. Lots of salt. Very salty. Very good. I need salt. Let's explore, shall we? What do you think? We're looking for salt. That's gotta be flour. Okay, so let me make sure that these things are not so easily dropped. Looks like the sugar will be for the ants tomorrow. I'll figure that out in a sec. Lots of toothpicks, wooden coffee stirring, like rice or something. Not rice. Um, maybe this is salt. sugar uh, if you want it and we're just gonna make spaghetti oh but that's sauce we need a um, some sort of little pan like a, uh, a pan like this we'll get some there lots of lots of chai options lots of very popular tea making abilities um, well, it's a good thing we didn't try to make those pizza slimos. I hope this is microwavable. No, it's just for the fucking oven. Well, that's 15 lira. <laughs> uh, which would be, I guess, two dollars. Dollar seventy-five. Uh, four pizzas down, and they have a smaller pan to make a nice sauce. Um, I guess, I guess you can make, you can use this as a saucepan, right? So, let's make some meatballs. You know, I really like the, the salt from the pickle juice. Whoa! Who knows if that's gonna be good with the spaghetti sauce. Do I have anything else? Oh yeah. We have salt, perfect. Special salt. Now I usually travel with hot sauce. I didn't for some reason. We're gonna use beef bouillon.
This is the famous French Noir. Jam that up right there. Find my French. I've never seen white beef fully on. It's delicious. Okay. So we have the tomato sauce, beef bouillon, a little bit of pickle juice. Who knows if that's a good idea? I've never done that in my life. Um, oh, and fucking and meatballs. Haha, <laughs> there they are. We don't know if these are meatballs or not. Um, but it says there's like a little beef emblem. Here. That's promising. Let's see if we can get this open. Fall on the just use a knife. Aha. Uh -huh. No. Meatball. Okay. Oh, there's bad boys in there. I think this is probably pretty much the same meal we're gonna have every day over here. Just because. Put those in the fridge. Oh, good pepper. We didn't get any produce, but look at this. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful bad boy pepper. Let's slice that bad guy up. Put him in there. So this is how I do the thing. Now we have meatballs, beef bouillon, salt, pepper, tomato sauce. Let's put that guy on the stove. Let's let that simmer and see what happens. The sauce is coming along. Added a little bit more tomato sauce. And the water is taking a little while to come to boil. It's fine. You wouldn't typically like to have a little garlic or onion, something. But um, I'm always the, the thing with when, when you're buying produce abroad is that you need to know how. That is super salty, but delicious. <laughs> yeah, use that pickle. You can tell the pickles are there. Add a little bit more. I'm a little upset about the Pizza King. I don't know why I got the Pizza King, to be honest. I mean, I'm not gonna have four pizzas, but it was only 15 lira. And I thought that this, maybe this, this oven worked. Well, I didn't know, I didn't even think about it, to be honest. I thought the oven would work, but didn't even look beforehand, so. It's not that big of a loss. Maybe. Let's take a look. Pizza 
king. See, it's just, just it's like, you definitely have to use the oven. Place the pizza in the middle and shove the preheated bake for eight to 10 minutes. But who knows, maybe you can, maybe we can microwave it. <laughs> we can zap one just to see what it does, right? <laughs> microwave there. That'll be an interesting experiment. So we'll let that sauce cook for a little while. Get the pasta going and then that's not bad. The pickle juice made it a little bit saltier than it should be, but salt is good for your body. It needs a nutrient. So let's see how this pans out. So the Pizza King, these look great, don't they? Individually wrapped. I don't know why they have corn on them. Black olives, corn, I guess two different kinds of salami. Cheese, sauce. Should we microwave and see what one does? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Making food anyways, right? So just out of curiosity, what, what would you guys think? How long on this microwave should you take a frozen pizza like this? Okay. All right. Let's see what it does. Oh, just turn it on. You have all these different settings. I don't know which one is which. Enough time. You need at least 30 minutes in the uh, the microwave or something like that. Sauce is looking delicious. Water is on the floor. In this situation, we're going to add a little water. Dilute it down. Pizza turns out. We're still recording. I didn't shut up. So it was being microwaved. That's it. Some flavor oil to water. Let's give it a little stir. Um, just like that, some. The sauce is tasting delicious, actually. We might just want to put it on a simmer. Let's see what we can do. Um, so this one is here. So it's already on low. So it's going to get higher. Right? So that's just how that is. Let's see what the pizza. Definitely looks edible. So we're about half a liter down on the Zabrowska, which means we need to probably drink. Just a little bit because there will be no alcohol sales on the weekend for turkey we have a little tiny bottle of uh, Zabraska just in case we get like in trouble like detox or something like we're out of alcohol um, that's a, an emergency situation but maybe we can find some beer tomorrow that'd be really cool um, so let's let this cook so the pizza by the way it's not bad. It's like a um, kind of a soft mm. a food. You definitely eat that. I'll take the sauce off. Here it's just about ready. I'm thinking about this bottle of Zabrowska and I'm thinking maybe we drink it all tonight. That way if we detox. Because we really can't. We really can't drink anymore. 
We're going to have more later. Oh, I figured it out. It would be nice to have a flask on you when you go to Gebekli Tepe. <clears throat> okay, so we'll keep a flask. And we'll see if we can score some fucking beer tomorrow. That would be nice. So, um, oh, look. Let's see if they have a, a strainer of some sort. Hmm. Lots of chai, raki glasses, lots of, look at this, all this chai, that's how many chai, that's how many chai you need in this world, um, gotta have that chai, and I'm not saying like a condor or some sort of strainer, so let's just get, let's get back to basics. This is very hot. Don't use your hands. Um, these pants. <laughs> burn you uh, pretty badly not so bad so how do we get the let's see Can we get the initially another so hot I love the see I love New York <clears throat> who doesn't right so I have to use our pot pan of This. Is this a technique where you put the thing in here and you use this because it's too hot? So let's try it. forks. It's got to be clean, right? If you just strained a whole thing of water. Is there a bigger plate? I think this is about as big as I get. Or is this a smaller version? No. No, just a little bit bigger. So, transfer that here. Put this for later. And then, uh, <clears throat> cook. Let's just see what it tastes like by itself. Ah. Mm. That's food. Lots of children running outside. It's interesting when you're living in a, a castle or whatever, the differential between the stone the way it sounds are reflected. <clears throat> so, spaghetti. Sauce. I'm a big sauce fan.
the more sauce, the better. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Bon appetit. Our first dinner in San Leofel. Dig in and intro. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. I like to try. Let's see. Mm. That'll do the trick, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have a good night. So, we have our meal. And what reminds what is left of the vodka? We have water, we have our spaghetti, and this is our. This is where we will eat. Not such a bad life. That's pretty good. A little salty. I probably shouldn't have put the pickle juice in there, but. It's a different change, change of pace. Get that salt you need, that vinegar, that beautiful nutrients for your body that your body craves. Electrolytes. Um, so yeah, we really don't have a plan for tomorrow at all because we don't have any internet, we don't have a phone. We really have no, we're literally off the grid at this point. So I'm thinking, wake up early. And worst case scenario, I don't know how expensive it would be. Worst case scenario is we could take a taxi to Quebec Tepe. Um, I think there's obviously I think there's other options. There should be a shuttle bus or something. Um, I'm, I know there is. So strike that. Wake up early. Find a cafe. Have some chai. With uh, Wi-Fi. And then figure out there how you're gonna get to Quebecly Tepe. And um, let's, let's do it. Well, we came all the way. Cooking in a castle alone, living the dream. Ciao. See you on the flip side, Space Cow.